welcome back to another Gaming with Kohath. I'm Caleb, also known as Kohath, and here we are for another premiere draft here on Strixhaven um, season. So go ahead and hop in the queue here and see what we can end up putting together. Super enjoyed some of our most recent ones. Disappointing last time we went 3-3 three and three, um, with our Prismaria deck. I thought it was legit, um, but it happens sometimes. Hopefully we can get get another good deck put together here and see what we can put together. I just said put together like seven times. Did you catch that? Um, what do we open here? Nothing great. Um, Harness Infinity. It's pretty meh. Professor's good. Um, Professor is good. Um, Reflective Golem is fine. Leech Fanatic is okay. Uh, I take Lash, honestly. Um, field field trip, Mage Duel. I think we're gonna take Professor here. Not much that we're in the missing in the pack. Um, again, Lash is probably my number two pick here. Um, but Professor seems just fine. What do we get now? Detention Vortex, Cultivate, Mortality Spear is fine. Um. Yeah, my best card here would be Mortality Spear or Cultivate. Um, not going to get either of those back. Hmm. Sick Mortality Spear. We're going to stay open. Take the best card. Snarl. Um, Prentice is very good as well. <laughs> I don't think we want to be in five colors. I don't think that will benefit us greatly. Um, Alan Shield Mage is very strong. I actually think maybe that's what we want to do. Um, we could be in white. We could run Abzan. I would be okay with that. Let's see if we can get that Snarl back. Maybe the Flex Assistant is also a fine card to play and include. Orc Lure Mage is a weird card. Like it's it's fine, but it's bizarre. Defend the Campus is a okay removal spell. Show of Confidence is very strong in the right deck. Um, I'm not sure we're in the right deck for Show of Confidence at the moment, but we'll see what we pull out. Um, it feels like green might be our splash color looking at our first three picks, and so Field Trip isn't super exciting. Um, Four mana, three, three, but I can get a one-one counter on if I throw something away. Ugh. Hmm. I don't know. I guess we'll road draft. We might end up playing it. It might be really worth playing. I don't really know. Rise of Exodus here is excellent. Sorry, Brainstorm, but... That's pretty clear pickup for us. Theory Calm Snarl. Rip Apart is good. Professor's Warning is an okay trick. Big Play is okay. Reckless Pyre uh, Amplomancer. Um, I think... I think I want the two drop here. I think that's the best call. Don't really know where we're at currently. Um, Theming Defiance or Campus. Currently, I'm thinking we need the fixing, so let's take the Campus here. I'm going to put it in the sideboard. We'll add it into the deck later. Hmm. I like Golem. I think Golem is a fine pickup here. <coughs> we might just go ham if we get a lot of Golems back. Go very aggressive. Um, Star Pupil would be fine in an aggressive deck like that. So currently, we don't have anything that really works with Golem. Um, doesn't mean that we can't get it. So like here, Enthusiastic Study is a really good card for it. Um, that puts us into red. So we're going to take it, because currently getting the golems looks really good. Um, I 
Hmm. Do I want the creature or do I want the defend? Let's take the defend. I'm gonna take test. I don't think we're playing it. I don't. I don't really know where we are yet. I'm liking, honestly, these two red cards seem really strong with the reflective golem. So we'll see where that puts us. Three mana enters battlefield. Learn whenever you attack, put a one counter on target attacking creature and untap it. Yeah, that seems very good. Okay. Kind of thinking we might be moving into more of a white red. Oh man, God's willing, it can be very powerful in a deck like this. Hmm. Pilgrim's very good too. Um. We can take Pilgrim for now. Maybe God's Willing comes back. It might not, and that's okay. Dueling Coach here is a bomb for us. Wouldn't mind getting some removal. Currently, we're pretty removal light. We're three drop heavy. Need some also some cheaper creatures. Star People is fine. We got we got some good cards here on our sideboard. Who are we playing against? Akarax, Shrini, Bozak, Zizis, Decked Out, Sassan McGee, and Garagat. Great. Lumancer, very strong card here. I'd also like a charge through, I think. I would like an assistant as well, but here, pretty happy with Lumimancer. I'd also take a Make Your Mark. Um, ooh, nope, Guiding Voice. Guiding Voice with the Golems is really, really powerful. I'd also take Expand Anatomy, though. I do need some Learn, because currently I'm sitting with Symbology as a Learn card and a Sparring Regimen. So, would like some more. Snakeskin Veil is very powerful. Um... I said I wanted to charge you. I'm not in green currently, though, so why do I? I don't have a reason to play black at all, do I? Um... No, I don't think I'm playing black, honestly. I think red and white makes the most sense. Um... Pillar Drop would be fantastic, too. Hmm. Kind of all over the place here. I'm not, I'm not high on Campus Guide. I'm not opposed to it, especially if we're thinking about splashing the Shield Mage. But I don't think we necessarily need to. Happy take prophecy there. It's a good, a good uh, lesson. Snake skin veil is worth splashing. I think. I would like some cheaper removal. I'd love some of the red uh, removal cards because currently we're we're a little weak on them, honestly. Um, I don't mind Tom Shredder. I think Tom Shredder is a very strong card. Um, red and blue seems to be quite open. I'm really surprised by seeing that. Are there any of these that I would play? Um, I think with our deck, we're trying to be as aggressive as possible, so maybe not. Um, that said, I am going to be happy to rare drop that. 
We might end up playing red and blue. Who knows? Not opposed to getting getting these cards. Four mana four for mage craft. Uh, it's your target creature you control. Um, so in a turn against if this creature would leave the battlefield instead, putting it elsewhere. Four four okay. Um, I don't like Contorius. I don't want to play Contorius. I'm in between here the quad red card, which feels awkward, or the Rise of Extus as a second removal spell and environmental sciences. Hmm. I want to be more more aggressive than that. I want to be more aggressive than this too, I suppose. Well, I don't think it's terrible. This is most certainly not terrible. Um, I don't know if we're going to play the red blue one, but the red white one, 100% we will play. Um, passing flunk here, we'd play a one X spell. Um, we would play expanded anatomy, um, but we are definitely taking the blade historian. Giving double strike to all of our attacking creatures is really, really powerful. Also, it looks like the Blade of Saurian is a bit of a Jedi. You see his lightsaber there floating in front of him. So that's the way I see the card anyway. Judge it as you wish. Um, Ignis, Expel, Pillar Drop Warden, um, Summoning That's also very good. Um, I think I want a Warden. First Warden there, I think, is good. Ecological Appreciation. We're not there, but it'd be nice. Spirit Summoning seems good. Twin Scroll could come back. Enthusiastic Study is very strong in our deck, so I honestly think I might want that. Oh, man, I need to prioritize Lessons for sure. Um, so here we are going to take the Lesson over the second Twin Scroll. Um... Divine Gamut, Historian, Spirit Summoning. I think Spirit Summoning is our choice here. I wouldn't mind a Biblioplex Assistant as well. Uh, enthusiastic Study number three or Expel number one. We're gonna go with Expel number one here. I think that's worth it. I'm not thinking we're gonna play the Elemental Expression. Um. Yeah, I will take a Pigment Storm. That could be the last bits of damage that we need to get in. Um, take an Assistant here instead of the Stone Mountain Mentor. I'm not a huge Mentor fan. It works with the Contorious type deck, but it's overall just fine. I'm going to take the Sloth. I don't know if we'll play it, but we'll take it. It's strong enough. Again, we, we want our deck to be a little bit lower curve. Um, Like, Historian here seems really good. What I like about Historian is that you get that later value too, in the 3-2, once it dies, which is pretty nice. Hmm. I think I like Twin Scroll here. We're trying to be aggressive. It helps us be aggressive. Um, this is all whatever, I think. What is Spell Satchel? Huh. Not the most exciting cards. All right, 20 gems. Let's take a look at our deck finalize it and get it figured out here. All right. I want to play 16 lands in this deck.
Do I? Because I need double white here, double red, quad or red or white, which is fine. Double red. I don't think we're going to play Teach by Example in this one. Um, it would go really well with the Reflective Golems. Reflective Golem and Enthusiastic Study are our two cards that we really want most to go together. Twin Squall Shaman works really well with it as well, so take this, give 3 1 to our Golem, give it also to our Shaman. Really just wreck shop. That would be our goal anyway. So. Um, Don't need Campus Guide, I don't think. I like the, the cheapness of it, but not super excited to play it. Um, I might drop one land and... Hmm. I think Sloth, honestly. I just don't think it, it makes the cut in what we're trying to do here in the deck. Yeah, okay. Well, that seems fine. And then what are our lessons here? Get three lessons. So that's a little disappointing because we should hit all three of them each game, I would imagine. Because as we look at what, we, what we're holding for lessons, we have Guiding Voice to learn. We have Professor Symbology to learn. We have Sparring Regiment to learn, and we have two Enthusiastic Studies. So we've got five learn cards, three lessons, so we'll get an opportunity to um, cycle our deck a little bit. But anyway, there's our deck. I hope you like it. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and put this into our deck list and start into game one. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and jump into game one here with what I'm calling our aggressive golem deck. Um, really do want golem to really make the deck go off. Um, I think we can have explosive games. I also see the potential of us sliding down pretty quick, just because we didn't get some of like, the heated debates and things like that that really helped the deck go off. Um, that said, this is a fine hand. We've got some good um, good ramp and pilgrim, or at least gaining some drawing a card and having our land on time. Thrill is beneficial for a card draw. We can get rid of a land if we need to. Tome Treader as well can eat the Thrill. Um, as a matter of fact, I think we probably will go ahead and thrill on turn two. Most certainly now, get rid of one of these mountains. Pretty content with that. Oh, we started lagging pretty hard right now. Um, we're probably going to have to <coughs> restart streaming everything just after we finish here, um, before we jump into the next game. Field trip, yep. Opponent finds a forest and opponent must have a fortune of lesson cards. I'm not sure what's going on here. Elemental summoning. Okay. Hmm. A little late on the Lumomancer, in my opinion, but that's okay. We're going to play Pilgrim here. Don't really care if it gets killed. Um, we get something out of, our, out of our deck that we don't want soon anyway, which is nice. Um, can also Biblioplex Assistant and then Thrill again, be able to get a little bit deeper. Um, which I think is what we want to do here. It buys us a little bit of time and helps us helps us dig deeper into our deck, find the cards that we actually want to be going off with. Opponents playing Jund here. They get a 4-4 on board. They're looking at assistant trying to figure out what it does. It's fun. 
Our opponent is Astrum. Good luck and have fun, friend. Get the blue soul book over here. I'm just going to combat. Hmm. You know, I think if them going to combat, I don't think there's much that we can do here. Okay, they're targeting the Vivi Clix assistance, dealing three damage and learning. All right, sorry about that. We had some issues here. Um, so opponents attacking in here with a Leech Fanatic, they played that last turn. I'm gonna go ahead and block and kill it. They also end up getting start from scratch off of um, a lesson that they use with an ingenious inspiration that they use to kill off my Biblioplex assistant. I cast Throat of Possibility, I cast Professor Symbology on my turn. I end up pulling Elemental Summoning from my board. Um, yeah, I think that catches us up. So hopefully um, we don't have any more interruptions here and we can actually end up moving in. They're going to keep the debate, keep the Leech Fanatic alive, but they don't gain the life. I take four more. Um, here, I do think I'm pretty happy with Elemental Summoning. I'm going to attack him for two. Okay. Opponent's going to agonize you more, so there goes Rise of Extus, which is disappointing. I didn't really want to use on their 4 4 there because I can kill a 4 4 pretty well. There are some other things I wouldn't be able to deal with, and so having it would have been beneficial. Here we got Tezzer's Gambit. They paid the 2 life. And opponent. It's in for 4. I'm going to offer the trade if that's what they want. Nope. Okay. Um, hmm. I think I'm pretty content to play Tome Shredder here and pass, holding up enthusiastic, enthusiastic study. Um, I think that that is beneficial to me. If the opponent wants to lash, I have protection on it. Um, I don't know what else they're going to want to do. Okay, Archivist, sure. I'm going to combat. And they pass through combat. Okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and activate Tome Shredder here, and we will eat the Thrill of Possibility, I think. Grow up to a 3 3. The opponent have removal for it now. They do. There's the Lash. Um, well, it's a bit awkward because. Enthusiastic say would be better another time. But I think as it goes, I'm content to save it here. Um, I do want to go ahead and prophecy. Great. Hmm. 
So I think we go ahead and attack with both here. Oh, on target attacking creature. Well, that's a little bit disappointing. I kind of thought it was... Uh, I thought it was on all. I needed to read a little bit closer on that. This is very likely the misplay that loses me the game. Okay. So they're wanting to kill them both, for sure. Um, so I can grow this to a 5-5, five, five, and it doesn't do anything special, so I guess that's it. Bummer. Yep. Okay. However, Twin Scroll Shaman is going to be very good with the Regimen, which is nice. Um, yep. I'm not going to block or go ahead and take the 6. I would be happy to expel the Cogwork Archivist on my turn. Another Leech Fanatic. Okay. Reflective Golem is also a very good um, card here. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and expel it here. And then I don't intend to block with Lumamancer, so I want to go ahead and put it in. I'll grow it up to a 3 4. Now it's a 1 2, so we're getting a little bit better on it. Opponent has one card in hand. Moving to attacks, moving through attacks. Okay. We might, might be getting there. Um, hmm. We're going to go ahead and get in with the Lumomancer here. It'll untap another 1-1 one, one on it. So it's a 4-5, so it can't be killed by Leech Fanatics. It's good. Now it's a 2-3. So I have three blockers for their 2-2s, two which is wonderful. Field trip. Okay. Do they have another lesson? I imagine they do, because it took them quite a while earlier. Annihilation. Please, annihilate one of my creatures. That'd be really wonderful. I'm just thinking about it. Oh, I guess they can they can exile the regimen. It's probably worth it. It's gonna give me quite a bit of value over time. Okay. It's gone. Star pupil, which is okay. Would love to get another pump spell because I would really go off then. I feel like I'm really close. Um, let's see. We'll go ahead and attack with all three of these. We'll keep our 3 2 back because we're already showing lethal. Um, Force them to chump, get our star people on line, and should be good. No crux of fate one time. Mortality spear, the Lumancer is dead. And All right, good game, opponent. I, th I thought we might have lost it there ourselves, so I'm glad we were able to pull that out. Um, good game, Astrum. 1-0 here with our aggressive Golem deck. And once the Golems hit the field, even though we really didn't make them go off, they did some good work, so that was fun. 
I will update our deck list record and we will move right on into game two. All right, so game two. Yeah, so it's good to know about the regiment that it only does one creature. Uh, it would be insanely powerful. It was universal for all attacking creatures, but that's what I thought it was. So I was pretty excited about it. I still think it's a good card, just not as good. Um, yeah, we'll keep this. <laughs> okay, good. That works. Alrighty. Juggernaut wins 608. Good luck and have fun. What's opponent on? I think we might lead on Star Pupil because we can actually get in for damage. Though Mancer, we currently don't have follow up spells to cast, so I'm not too concerned about getting on the field that quickly. Opponent leads on Mountain, passes our turn. We'll go Plains, Star Pupil. Opponent holding up Dispute. They want to go ahead and learn. Is that what's going on? I don't know what's happening. And they have Shock in hand, maybe? That could be it. Reflective Golem is good against Shock. Twin Scroll Shaman is pathetic against Shock. Hey, there it is. Alright. Opponent draws, plays Mountain for turn, passes through. We will play Mountain and throw down a Historian. Sometimes in, in Strixhaven Draft, if you can curve out, it's just a little bit too much for the opponent to handle. Um, opponent gets Pledge Mage down here. Interesting. Um, we're going to go ahead and get Twin Scroll Shaman down and pass our turn. The reason I'm doing this is because next turn I can put Sparring Regimen in, and then Twin Scroll Shaman will be a 2-3 double strike, and Lower Hole Pledge Mage will not be able to kill it. So we're not blocking the 2-2 two -two first striker. It can go ahead and hit us. Opponent's follow-up play is... Another Pledge Mage. Okay. I mean, it's a strong play for sure, but I think our play here is going to be a bit stronger. Um, they're a little bit light on land, so I think Introduction makes the most sense. And we're going to go ahead and get in with Twin Scroll. Give it a counter. Pump it up. It's opponent block. They do not. All right. If the opponent attacks in here, I'm not going to block with Twin Scroll. I will probably block with Historian just to protect my life a little bit. Um, maybe I won't. That's fine. I, they, they certainly have some sort of pump, and I, I have no intention of blocking into it. Hopefully I can draw land this turn. Okay. No land. Huh. Okay. Well, we will go ahead and Historian here. Pump up to 3-2. And... Do -do -do -do. Yep, we're going to dig for land here. There's one. Your four drop two. Actually, I was really wanting, really wanting a plains, but I suppose the mountain will have to do. Um, we're not really in a position to block here, so again, we're probably going to take four to six damage would be my guess. No blocks. Pop quiz. 
six damage here. Draw a card and learn a card. What are you going to learn? Spirit Summoning? Anatomy. It's a very good card. Um, well, here, I think we want to limit my answer. We want to go ahead and get in for four. And we want to end our turn. The reason I'm doing this is because Lumamancer, I'm going to sacrifice to one of them. An Expel will kill the other that they're using Anatomy on. Great. Okay. Oh, I guess it won't because it has... Uh, yeah. So, we'll get rid of Pledge Mage. Make it a 2-3. Yeah, I guess we'll double block here. I'm sure they'll kill Historian, which is okay. We're going to go ahead and Pigment Storm. Are we? I don't want to do that. Let's just defend the campus. Kill it. Pump it up. This Pigment Storm is a little bit better of a spell. Make it a 3 4. Opponent here. We got a handful of cards and no lands, so that's really frustrating for the opponent. Tome Shredder, sure. Unfortunately, no, I will not block the Tome Shredder. Um, We're going to play the Dueling Coach, run for the counter on itself, and we're going to get in for two here. Now I've got two creatures that can block Tome Shredder. Oh, they found the land. That could be bad for me. Yep, Assistant for no value. Oh no, you definitely have something, don't you? Pot Quid's Heated Debate Shock. Taking Heated Debate, okay. So I have to win this turn. And I can do that. So, Pigment Swarm will win me the game. Hit here, deals four damage to the opponent. Good game, opponent. All right. Juggernaut wins, good game. That puts us at 2-0 with our aggressive golem deck. Ranks us up to gold tier 3. And I'll update the deck list and jump into game 3 directly. Okay, game 3 here. See if our aggressive golems can get there. We actually haven't had a chance to get golem down and go real ham on it. So hopefully we get to do that here soon. Two follow one, good luck and have fun. Um, this is a fine hand. You get a two drop, two three drops, and a decent removal for five drop. Um, Dueling Coach is also very strong, especially as a follow up to Twin Scroll, um, which I think is the route that I'm going to go here Historian, Twin Scroll, and Dueling Coach. Opponents on Mono Forest over there. Get in for two, pass turn. Opponents on fourth forest. I can't imagine they're they're truly playing mono green. Get in for six. This is five mana, put a one-one counter on each creature. Okay. Frost trickster. Imagine taps down twin scroll. Sure. 
Um, hmm. I think I play Golem here. And I pass. Next turn, I'm going to feel a lot better. Oh, that felt worse. Bummer. So I go in here. See what they want to do. Mage Duel again. Okay. Well, their blue source really helped them out there, didn't it? Um, we do not want Needle Thorn Drake around. So we'll kill that. Hit the opponent. We'll go ahead and put a 1 1 counter on our dueling coach. And we will go ahead and pick up an elemental summoning here. Bash in for 5. Opponent gets our second blue source. Gets the 4 4 Elder Dragon. When it enters the battlefield, double number 1 counters the target creature you control. Okay. When it attacks, when they have base power and toughness of creatures you control, become equal. Okay, so become 4 4s. Um, enthusiastic, so he is an instant, and it will kill, uh, Tanzanir. So that seems worth it to me. Go ahead and get in. We will go ahead and up our dueling coach. Pick spirit summoning out of sideboard. Put the opponent to three, clear the board, and get a three-two on board. And pass our turn. We've been aggressive. Opponent passes through. They must have something here. But we're going to go ahead and move into attacks. Opponent's going to bury here. Sure. We will exile that for turn, get a 3-2 on board. Neoporn Drake, sure. Any removal will win me the game here. Yep. They have a counter for our summoning? They do not. So we have our 4-4 on board. All right, good game, opponent. All right, well, we were aggressive there. We were getting out of, we were kind of losing out there at the end uh, some resources, but we ended up pulling the win out, 3-0 here with our aggressive golem deck. Um, we almost saw a golem go off there, but opponent was ready for it. So update the deck list and we'll jump into game four. Okay, game four here. Um, having a good time with this deck. These aggressive builds are pretty fun it'll be pretty difficult to see if we play against a good witherbloom deck that has a lot of life gain if we can actually keep up because even that game felt like we were really running out of steam pretty quick um and that was with our opponent being stuck on mana for four turns so hopefully we can continue to see uh luck in our favor here i would love to love to go seven and oh i haven't had that yet um definitely had six and three or whatever a few times but um, opponent this time is Pyroblast92. Good luck and have fun, friend. Um, single planes is not going to do it for me, even if I have two, two plays. Um, this, however, seems good enough. Um, Dueling Coach is a very strong card. Ooh. Yeah, for now, I'm going to put Dueling Coach down. When I get, when I, I'll shuffle with Pilgrim, and I think that'll be okay. Twin Scroll Shaman, hello. Island for the opponent. You have the Pledge Mage, Arthur Prentice. Oh, the Drake, okay. 
The Drake is effective. Sheep card can kill anything. It's especially good with Devouring Tendrils where you can bite. It's incredibly powerful. Opponent field trips, gets a force out of their deck, and finds a... Annihilation. Okay. I don't think the opponent's going to be digging to annihilate my Pilgrim in the Ages, but you never know. We will go ahead and get our planes. Opponent is on fifth land, island, and Soothsayer Adept gets in for one. Yep. Hmm. I don't have anything for it, but if it gets it out of their hand, I'm pretty for it, and I, I would like the card draw anyway. Um. Reflective Golem comes down, Star People comes down, and we'll pass our turn. Devouring Tendrils? Mage Duel? What do you got? Devouring Tendrils, it looks like. Decisive Denial, okay. I mean, I'm not opposed to a two-for-one there. I think that they they were on track to do a little bit better than that, so whatever. Kind of draws return. Place Force follows up with Curate. Bends a land, draws a card. Passes turn. Okay. For us, I think we are going to Twin Scroll and Illustrious Historian. We're pretty weak. Not much going in, going on on our side at the moment, but I feel okay. We just need a, a few pieces and we can actually begin to really roll over the opponent. Opponent might want to annihilate Twin Scroll. Historian is a better target because you get two cards basically out of Historian. Um, opponent loots, gets rid of land, draws a card for turn. I give my whole team 1-1, one, one, which is pretty nice. It's a 6-6. Six, six. I think Lumomancer seems quite nice here. I think we're going to pass at the moment. We're not getting any pressure on our opponent. Defend the canvas will kill the 6 6 fractal um, pretty happily. But we haven't really drawn spells. We've got all creatures and one spell, which is interesting. Okay. Target creature you control has base power 2 until end of turn. Okay. Gonna give that to your fractal? Gonna give it to itself. Okay. I don't know what the benefit of giving it to itself is, because you could have pumped the fractal up to an 8-6. Uh, another fractal summoning. That's not beneficial for me. Well, we are going to go ahead and kill off the 6-6 here. Probably would have been better on my turn with Lumomancer. 
that was a bit of a misplay. I'm hoping to get draw something a little bit better, like Rise. Rise is a great option here. Um, I think we attack with these three. Let's see what the opponent does. All of them can kill the Symmetry Sage. None of them kill Soothsayer, but it does. Put them on 14 if they don't block, which is fine. I'm keeping Rise here because the Fractal Summoning is going to play something that's a bit hefty. Alright, they're blocking the Pilgrim. I can't block the Pilgrim, or I can't kill it, but the nice thing about Pilgrim is I can bring it back. So if that's their block, I'm very happy to go ahead and get it back in my hand. Wonderful. Um, I don't have to do that instant speed, so we're going to pass here. At least feign having something in hand. Okay. And now opponent. Are they going to make a 5-5 five, five fractal? Hmm. Okay. Not a 5-5, five, five, but still an insanely hefty 7-7. Uh, seven, seven. Multiple fractal limitations are not good for me. They're going to get in for 2 in the air here. Go ahead and return this to our hand. Dueling Coach is quite nice here. We're going to exile you, and I guess a Leyline Invocation, that's fine. Um, hmm. I think the 4-4 four four is going to be needed. I think we're going to go ahead and send in with these two for now. I'm holding Historian back at this time because Historian does offer um, some better value. You have to do it on your turn, though, I think. I know you don't, but you still need five mana, so it's worth holding back. Yeah, opponent, I don't know what they're worried about there, but it's fine. They took the two damage, they're down to 14. Yep. They go ahead and loot. They pitch cram session. I think they're waiting for something big and hefty from me to annihilate, which they're not going to get. I'm probably going to hold dueling coach for a bit because if I can, we're in really good shape. Fortunately, we don't have eight mana, so we can't pilgrim and elemental in the same turn, which is what I would like to do. Aerialist. Okay. Um, hmm. go ahead and cast Pilgrim here. We will go ahead and get a Plains. And we'll pitch our Plains and draw two cards. Grow Lomomancer, draw new Plains, play it. And then here, I am incentivized. to attack all. Yep, block the 1-1, one, one, block the 2-3. Block the 2-1, okay. I mean, that works for me. They're probably going to try and get Fractal down here, which makes sense. And unfortunately for me, I don't have... don't have an incredible way of getting through it. I 
think we'll go ahead and cash that in and get another one two double strike. We'll wait. I can trade in both my shamans and pilgrim for the six six. That seems bad. See what opponent does here. Annihilating a shaman. I'm actually fairly okay with losing one of those. Tome Shredder. Okay. And they pass through their turn. Because now that they've done that, I have nine mana. Um, yeah. I think I summoning first. See what the opponent wants to do. Nothing, okay. And then dueling coach. Dueling coach will come in and put the one one counter on the twin scroll shaman. And then we will not be attacking at the moment. And we're already used defend, right? Yes. Could definitely use some more stuff. Okay, Zimone's gonna be a problem. It's gonna draw them into what they need. Um I think we go ahead and activate this. Because at the moment that's that's my best my best capacity. It's a bit awkward that I'm now playing Tom Shredder. But I think that's okay. Because now my Twin Scroll Shaman can block the Fractal no problem. But now they, they know what they're looking for in their deck. And they're scrying. We've got to close out this game pretty quickly. Otherwise we're going to be in trouble. They top decked. What do you got? Oh, okay. The Death Toucher. Opponent. Passes through. We're going to go ahead and activate if they'll let us. Um, we'll get rid of Thrill here. Give it a one one counter. Pigment Storm is quite good. Um, What do I kill? I can kill Drake. Let's see. I do this to Drake. They take four damage. They're at six. I then attack all. Um, they block here, 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 and here. So they take two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. I don't know what they have in hand, but this could be I win. Okay. Let's go ahead and attack in and see what happens. Currently, I think they take eight if they block the biggest creatures. <sighs> Somewhat saw that coming. Yep. I take six damage off the board. So block, block. Yeah. So they're going to take four.
it felt greedy, but I had to do something because the moment was going to take over the game. So I had to force the issue. Here they die if they block like this. Are they are they dead anyway? I think they're dead anyway. Good game, opponent. Wow. Wow. Okay. We were not very aggressive in that game. Uh, just didn't really have the capacity to be super aggressive, but we ended up getting the W anyway. Um, that was quite the long battle. But just like that, we're 4-0 um, moving into game five. And so I'll update our deck, and then we will jump right back in. Okay. So 4 0 here with our deck, um, doing pretty well. It's been a pretty exciting run. Um, Black Spotted Cat, good luck and have fun, my friend. Um, let's see if we can actually get golems on the field and enthusiastic studies, because that's really where we're going to go off. This looks like a, a really incredible hand. Turn four could be explosive. I mean, it takes the opponent not to have uh, removal, but you never know. All right, we will lead on Plains and Lumomancer. Pass our turn. Lumomancer is not an immediate threat to the opponent, but they don't know that. They play Forest. We're going to go Mountain and no attacks. Would like to keep drawing into lands, though. I don't think two mana in blue and green can kill Lumomancer at this point. Campus Guide, okay. I'm going to put a land on top of your library. Opponent puts a forest on top. We will play a plains, play a reflective golem, and pass our turn. Enthusiastic Study is going to be very powerful here because it also gives trample um if i could get another reflective golem down and you could get three copies of it we could just dominate the opponent um but i is that what i want to do let's go big let's go big we're gonna go reflective golem again we're not going to attack we're just gonna sit back and then next turn I can Enthusiastic Study targeting Golem, which will copy it, which will target the other Golem, which will copy it, which will target Lumomancer. Oh no, just when you cast. Okay. I see, just when you cast. That's still, still very, very significant. So that might have been a bit of a misplay there because I think they would have traded both their creatures off. Um, so that's okay. Opponents looking, they don't like what they see. <clears throat> Five cards in opponent's hand. Imbraham, Dean of Theory, four mana, three, three flyer, X and blue, blue, tap, exile top X cards your library, put a study counter on each of them, and then you may put a card you own from exile into the study. Okay. Well, we are going to go ahead and target this on a Reflective Golem, which will let us get a Prophecy. Wait. Pay two? Oh, no. I didn't realize I needed more, more land to do that. That's the worst. Clearly, I haven't played with Reflective Golem well enough. Ugh. I needed one more mana, and then we could have really been pretty strong on that. So that's very disappointing here. They can block with Ibrahim and Vortex Runner on the Golem, which is fine. I will kill the Ibrahim. Okay. They double block like this. I kill them both. I want to make sure Vortex Runner is the one that takes the most of the hit. Great. That golem is dead. Bummer. Well, 
need to draw more lands here, that's for sure. It's a good card. Mage Duel, yep. That one's dead. Okay, well, that, there goes our Reflective Golem. So now we are in a little bit of trouble. Um, we're pretty slow at the moment. Amphimancer is bad for me. Ugh. I do want Regimen, but I need need to hit lands. Yes. Um, I guess at this point it doesn't matter which land, so... But it does make it to where I will cast Rise of Excess on my turn, which is nice. We're going to go ahead and get in for two. Because Lumimancer is not going to block. We're going to take five next turn, go to um, go to 11. And we could take more if they pump Amphimancer. Opponent. Yep, it's in for five. They, gonna, they did not pump. You have follow-up play? I imagine you do, otherwise you would have pumped. Or kept Emberkeen back for the exile effect. So next turn, I think we're forced to exile Emberkeen. Sure. I don't think we really have any other choice on that matter. And we'll eat the Mage Duel. Which is a little bit stinky though, because Reckless Amplomancer is going to eat our lunch. Um, the 4-4 four, four will be a very good card for us. 4, 5, 6, 7 damage if I attack, but I'm not doing anything sitting back. I think I double block here and I'll kill the Battle Mathematician. They're going to get in here and deal seven to us, I think. Math another mathematician. All right, we're in a little bit of trouble here. Um, we'll get Pilgrim. We will get a Plains card. Play a dueling coach, put it on Lumimancer, and we will not attack. I don't know if we can stabilize here. I think we probably got too far behind. Um, with their Ibrahim and losing the Golem, I went a little bit too hard on it. Ooh, tapping us down puts me at two, four, six, seven damage. So, yeah, good game, opponent. All right, four and one here with our reckless golems, aggressive golems. Um, good game, opponent. Black spotted cat. We will update the deck list here and jump right back in for game six. Well, now we know that you don't use the Reflective Golem's ability without at least two free mana. Oh man, because that was gonna be really good that I get to double learn, I was going to pump my creatures, get six more power on the board that was gonna trample over. It was going to be oppressive to the opponent and the way that I played it, it just wasn't. And it left myself open and Killed one of mine with a double. They went two for one on one, and then they um, used their mage duel to kill off the other one. And there was just no real coming back from that. All right, opponent is midnight. Good luck and have fun, opponent. Four mana, not a lot going on here. Um, I still think we'll keep it because I think Enthusiastic Study and Twin Scroll um, is very impressive. Not to mention Guiding Voice. So if I get Twin Scroll online and I get 
to attack with it, I think we're in really, really strong shape. Oh my goodness. Well, this is the spell hand, it looks like. A little masterpiece, they're ramping up a little bit. Teamer. Four man, I imagine an opponent has a play here. Cultivator. Three, four ETBs get a forest or island put on the battlefield in the shuffle. Okay. Um, hmm. I'm going to shaman here. Opponent's probably going to want to remove it. If they think they've got a turn, that really benefits me strongly. Okay, they're tapping it down. That happens. Sure. Wow, and infuriate as well. Yep. Yeah. I don't really want to trade it off at the moment. We'll see if the opponent does. This next turn will really could be very strong. Because I could infuriate and enthusiastic study and guiding voice. 3, 6, 7, 8, 16, 17, 18 damage. Yeah, that's not bad. They let us do it. We're going to. They're not going to. Three, four. Yeah, I'll save it. And then I'll pump my Tome Shredder. So it doesn't deal quite as much damage. Um, but potentially I can end up killing off their three, four. Saving my one, two. And getting a little bit more damage in. Oh, it didn't actually kill it. It just protects my guy. All right, one for one spells there. All right, we're going to go ahead and eat it. Okay. So now here, we're going to start with Guiding Voice on the Shaman. And hmm. Yeah, we'll take the summoning here. And then we're gonna go ahead and bash in here for five. Hmm. Do they have burying books? Kind of feel like they do. I'll make them have it. Yep. Dang it. Oh, no? Interesting. It's really kind of them to let it go off if they do have it. Oh, okay. So they're just going to take two damage here. And they're going to get to learn. I mean, that's significant. They just saved eight damage there. Um, so it kind of sucks. Now they're then they've got the expanded anatomy. Hmm. I think we'll probably lead on prophecy next turn. Try to find a land, play the land, and then enthusiastic study on the twin scroll shaman and attack them. Again, that only gives us 13 points of damage if we hit. Um, so I'm not 
not going to send in the Tome Shredder. I'll just send in the Twin Scroll and see what we can make happen. Well, now... I don't know. Let's go Twin Scroll only. Let's see what the opponent wants to do about it. They want to do something. Snow Day. Well, I appreciate that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and eat my enthusiastic study. We'll grow Tome Shredder here. Um, get another twin scroll down. We'll end our turn. So this is a bit awkward that I might be using Enthusiastic Study as a defensive spell, but I think I have to do it, especially if they're going to have anatomy here. Because I'm down to seven life here. I've got to be able to, to put up a fight. Opponent tapping the mana, one of each. Casting expanding anatomy, targeting the cultivator would be my guess. Frost, the Frost Trickster. Okay, sure. Making it a 4-4 Vigilance. Interesting. Yep. We'll block the Cultivator here. Enthusiastic study. Pump it up. Learn. Big play. Pumping up to seven. All right. Well, I mean, good game, opponent. We were tempoed out of that one. Frost Trickster is a very good card. Um, we weren't able to be aggressive early on because they got the three, four down so quickly, and then we were just kind of waiting until we could do something. So it's a little bit weak. But still very heavy with their deck, but that puts us at four and two, and we're on a bit of a slide here, so hopefully we can end up continuing on and getting some wins. So I'll update our deck list, and we'll jump right back in. All right, well, this could be our last game. Certainly hope it isn't. I hope we get all the way up to the seven wins. Again, haven't had a seven win straight saving draft yet. Shows I'm not the creme de crop, but it's okay. The creme de la creme, if you will. Crop stop. Good luck and have fun, my friend. Okay. Triple Mountain Plains. It's not the most aggressive hand, but I'm not going to pass it up. It seems fine. We have turn two Professor, turn three um, Golem if we want, it, potentially. I might actually just go um, turn three Spirit because turn three, three, two is okay. Symbology here. I don't think we need to scry deeper at the moment, but yeah, let's go ahead and take Spirit Summoning. Gives us a good three turn three play. There's potential it should have taken the four four for the four four for five, but opted against it this time. Opponent passes through on second main phase, considering what to do. Imagine they have Umbral Juke or Lash. Okay, they pass. We're going to go ahead and get in for two. Blades of Sorian is a great draw. It's always a great draw. Um, and Spirit Summoning will be even more powerful with it than Reflective Golem. So we'll go ahead and do that. Opponent draws. Plays of Plains, Silver Quill Pledge Mage, and they're about to be a little bit disappointed in my play. So we're going to play Fourth Land, play Blade Historian, bash in for up to 10 damage here. Opponent takes the, the 10. Pretty ballsy. Imagine that means they have another black source and Mage Hunter's Onslaught for Blade Historian. 
Spiteful Squad. Okay. The 2 2 Death Toucher. It's not that good here. Um, yeah, I think we're, we're going to crash in because. I guess they're just going to block with squad, but then they still die. They take eight. Good game, opponent. Uh, I don't know if they knew how that worked, but, you know, we'll take it. That's that's another win for us. Puts us at five and two. So good game. Um, update the deck list again, and we will jump into game eight here on Magic Arena. Okay. Yeah, so I, I can't imagine the opponent knew what they're doing. I think they're really hoping to live long enough to gain some good life off of the Pledge Mage, but they didn't see that I was getting double strike on all attacking creatures. I'm not sure. I mean, they were in a hard spot anyway. We curved out. We had just fantastic, powerful plays. Really, in a saving, sometimes if that happens, there's just no way to keep up. Um, it's a bit like Ixalan in that manner, that really aggressive decks can do really well if they curve out and they're consistent. Um, different than Ixalan, though, is decks that can be stable in the early game and have really powerful big plays in the end can actually end up coming across too. So I really like this format. I feel like it's diverse and it's fun and it's intricate. Um, I don't mind this hand. I kind of wish we had one more land. But I guess we're going to keep it. Opponent goes first. We're on the draw. This is an okay draw hand, I suppose. Hopefully draw into a land again. Dueling coach is not a land. That's not good. Opponent's on Silver Core Campus. Hooligan 23. Good luck and have fun, my friend. Leech Fanatic on turn two. I was just telling you about how difficult this can be if opponent curves out. So remember that as opponent... Plays out of planes and follows up with a shadowing shade wing laureate. Laureate. Oh no. Well, this could be all she wrote. Yeah. Opponent is really creaming me here. Okay. Ah, that's brutal. That's a bummer. It's not the way you want to end it. I should have mulliganed. I was a bit greedy there. With one land, we could have done a lot. And so it's a bit disappointing that here we are with really a fantastic hand and just no, no land to go along with it. So it's a bit of a bummer. Hey, we got a land here. Our best blocker is the Reflective Golem, so that's where we're going to play first. Imagine the opponent's got removal set up. I have no idea what the opponent's doing. Okay. Did they think it was Meteor Golem? I have no idea. What were they thinking there? I imagine they have Rise of Exodus here, so Reflected Golem is probably getting exiled at the moment. Psychic Creature, 3-3 three, three and Flying. Alright, well. That's a game. I won't say a good game, because that was pretty terrible, but Hooligan23, you did well. I'm glad that that, that was a good game for you. We'll go ahead and conclude our draft here at five and three. Um, I think our deck's better than that. I think uh, we had a, a little bit of a, we had a terrible game that last one. So that's life. Um, let me clear away the deck list and we will jump into our recap. Okay. So recap time. Um, deck was really powerful. Um, some things we learned. We learned that Reflective Golem, you have to pay two to copy the spell. It's not just a free copy, but, you know, if you read the card, you'll find that it actually explains the card. So, Dumb Strimmer doesn't do that. Blade Historian is insanely powerful. One of the more powerful cards that you could be playing, uh, especially in a deck like this. 
Um, Tome Trader is very good, especially in, in spell heavy decks. Lumomancer continues to impress me. I think each time I look at it in draft, I kind of question how good it's going to be. Each time I play it, I'm really more and more impressed by it. I think it's really fantastic. Same with Guiding Voice. Get a 1-1 counter and learn. It's really great. Um, could have used for some more removal, of course. I only had one expel. More expels would have been fine. More um, heated debates and uh, the three damage spell that you also learn from. Those would have been key cards to make this deck better. Would have dropped Pigment Swarm. Would have dropped Rise of Exodus. Would have dropped Defend the Campus. Um, I think it would have made it a lot stronger. Um, Biblioplex Assistant is really good. Um, didn't see it often in our games, which is unfortunate. I'm a bit higher on Twin Circle Shaman than I have been. I think it has to be in a deck like this that's wanting to run these enthusiastic studies because Twin Circle Shaman plus enthusiastic study can really turn into some major damage. Um, yeah, so overall, I think our deck was really fun. It was really good. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe for more. Um, and then we will see you on the next draft here at Gaming with Koha. Oh,